Okay, coronavirus QAnon file part two. So we trace the globe out. I'll page this image down. See, there's the globe hiding back there. I just hit it in the background. That way it's out of my way. Now, the next thing I would do is trace out the suit in the middle. So what I'm going to do here, use my Bezier tool. I'm only going to trace half of it. That's the easiest way to do it, and that way you know you're keeping everything symmetrical and identical side to side. So I would start here somewhere in the middle. doesn't have to be perfect. You can always correct that later. I hold control to come across the bottom there so it stays straight. Click here. Then I'm going to come up, set an anchor here. It's kind of hard to follow this elbow here, but we can assume it's somewhere in that range. We'll bend that line later. I'll come around, drop some points here, and trace out the basic design of this suit. And it doesn't have to be perfect when you're going around doing this. As you can see, my node snapping is kind of playing with me there because there's a globe in the background. But you just go around and set anchors and get it close. You're going to come back and adjust those nodes anyway so they don't have to be perfect. Come right here in the middle. And then I'm going to come back down and end it right there. Now, of course, I can't really see that to work with it. So once again, go to my fill and stroke menu and set my stroke on something I can see. I like green or red. Contrast most things pretty well. And here I'm going to take my node tool. I'm going to highlight this node and then I'm going to hold shift and come around this node. And this is the last one I selected, so I'm going to align horizontally to that one. I always have last selected. So now I know this line's straight up and down. So when I make this half and snap it over here, it will union perfectly together. So now I've got that. I'll come around and move these lines around with my node tool smooth nodes and move them around and I'll just work my way around it really doesn't take that long because like I say you're only doing half of this image and then you're going to union it together so instead of tracing out the whole thing we're just doing one half at a time I'll smooth these nodes out using my smoothing tool up here pull this down Pull this up. And this here, I'm not going to worry about getting perfect because I'm going to get rid of this little break in it. So I'm going to make a few changes here to make this cut. But basically right there I've traced the outer outline of that. So now I'll take that and go control D and then flip it. So I duplicated it flip my duplicate and I'll hold this and bring it over and let my snapping tool snap it together then hold shift select this half hit shift control plus and now if I were to set a fill you can see we traced that suit out it's all one piece you'll get this sometimes where you union it together you'll get a double node there but it's not a big deal you just highlight both of them hold shift Hover your cursor over one until it turns red and hit J. Join those two and then you can smooth it. But now you've got two symmetrical halves. That's basically a perfect trace. I'll delete that. Straighten that line out. There we go. Now I'm going to turn that fill back off because I've got some details in here to capture. So same deal. I'm going to do half of this duplicate it over to the other side and make sure it all matches up so I'll go back to my Bezier I'm going to select this here drop a node here one here and then I'm not going to come all the way up to here because we're going to want this to be a little thicker so I'm going to bring it maybe in here and come over here that way I'm going to leave enough material here to not burn through 
Then I'll come out here, maybe drop one on each side and kind of round that off. Here, here, drop a note here, and back down to our starting point, close that out. Fill in the stroke, change my stroke color, and then same deal, go back around and adjust these to follow my contour. You know, in some things like this, I didn't follow that completely. It's just stuff you got to do for plasma cutting. You got to compensate for leaving enough material there so we're not burning that stuff out. I'll pull this down, smooth those out. You know, and on some stuff, kind of same deal here. I'm not following these lines perfectly because I want to make sure that I'm leaving things thick enough for plasma cutting. And we'll go back when we're done and check these spaces to make sure, you know, nothing's too thin. So that basically there's that half. And what I do, if I went back, I can check it right now. I take a circle, draw a circle. I'll turn my stroke off on this one. Turn the fill on. Now I'll take this circle and pull it out till it fits between those two lines. Set that to inches. And now I can see there I've got 134 thousandths and still a little wiggle room right there. So I've got over an eighth inch material. That's going to hold together and not burn out. And that's how I check my spacing when I'm making a file like this. So get rid of that now I've got half of that traced out so I'll just highlight that control D flip it come in here I'll hold control and drag this over so it stays even side to side and looks like I need to bump it over just a hair more then kind of same deal I want to know this gap here so I can just draw another circle Make sure I got at least an eighth of an inch. That's not doing that. I hold control and draw the circle out. That way it stays symmetrical. And it looks like I've got at least, I got 150 thousand between them. That'd be fine. So I'll come out, select those two, shift control plus. And then we want to make sure that's centered up on this suit. So hold shift, select the suit. And with my line and distribute tool and center it vertically. There we go. Now I can hit shift control minus, and that's all one path. If I set a fill color, as you can see, we got that feature in there now. So the only other thing that was there, kind of sound, I don't know if I would even necessarily worry about that, but we'll go ahead and add it just for fun. And same deal, I'm not going to come to this edge, so I'm actually going to start maybe in here. Now on this, I would probably just hold control and come over to this side. It's so small, it's not really worth tracing out half of it. Then I'll come in here, hold control. That just keeps your line straight. Drag it over here and do about the same. Close it there. Set my fill and stroke again. And take my node tool and I'll curve that up to represent that white piece there. Like I say, I've dropped it down because we need to leave some material here for the plasma. So, same deal. I bring my circle tool in here. Turn the stroke off back on backspace there we'll just hold control draw me another circle I go for a minimum of an eighth inch so we'll set it at an eighth inch and there as you can see that that would work it's pretty close fits in there I've got about an eighth inch material left I got more than eight there so that will work pretty well 
So I would just select that, select the suit, align and distribute, center it up, and shift control minus. And there we have it. There's the QAnon suit traced out. Select it. There we go. So that's the next step of tracing this this design out. We've now got the suit. We've got the globe. Now just to add those leafs off to the side and the question mark. And I'll do that in the next step. Thanks for watching.